Hi, my gorgeous sparkly scrumptious Libra. Welcome to your love tarot reading. This is going to be for you and your person, boo boo, whatever that means to you. Situation trip, relationship, bumble date, marriage. Let's take a look at Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please show me angels what's happening for my gorgeous Libra. Also, Libra, with these you versus uh, them readings, we're assuming some kind of a rift or a separation happening between you and your person. Let's see, boo boo. Uh, please show me angels what's happening. Uh, also, Libra, if you are new to the channel welcome to blue angel love tarot and if you are a returning blue angel thank you i appreciate you i love you i see you baby give me a kiss mm. love you my libra you are so gorgeous and sparkliness you are sparklinesses and gorgeousnesses uh, <laughs> i'm libra in vedic astrology i don't i only have libra in my uh, libra is my house of karma actually in the western it's my 12th house Okay, anyway, uh, but in Vedic astrology, I'm actually a Libra, so go figure. I'm my own karma. I love you, my Libra, though. I love your energy. I lo you're so gorgeous. You are so gorgeous. You are so, like, you know, social socially, you're just, like, the mostest, you know? The socialistest with the mostestest. Uh, Eight of Cups, <laughs> your person is not in a good place, baby. Let me just tell you that. So this is a walking away energy. I do think your person, like, so, you know, this could be, this could, could go either way. Also, Crosswatcher, you know, be mindful of this. But Libra, I do feel like your person is walking away from this connection emotionally. Or they feel chased away. So, you know, whatever happened here. Let me pull some cards here on what happened. Because uh, I see you working hard. This is how they see you. They see you working hard on yourself. They see they see you got your life in order, boo-boo. And they either eliminated themselves from inquiries, you know, deleted themselves from the database because they didn't feel like they were living up to expectations that's the reason if you're wondering why someone ghosted you for example a bimbo himbo from tinder and when in between you went on a tuesday you're like why does this person disappear yeah because they're hard yeah there's a mm, heartbreak and abandonment here for sure and i think it was your person who eliminated themselves uh for some of you you put your foot down and they left and they got they got the message you know they finally got the message and eliminated themselves oh poor see this little bimbo how sad it's such a sad vibe. You're like, whoa, going upstream. Uh, bye. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, look, I'm sure you wouldn't send them packing, Libra, if there wasn't a reason. You have the Six of Pentacles here. You have the uh, Knight of Swords, and you have the Hierophant. So, but Bill, if it was a bimbo himbo from Tinder, someone was quickly in and out, promised you all kinds of things, promised you uh, uh, things promised you amazingness said oh you know second date third date they were like i see us getting married i love you love bomb you know like you're amazing it, it was going so fast it was like this is so solid or it seemed like it was going solid even if they didn't love bomb you it just seemed like it was going to be so solid it seemed like it was going to be so amazing and then like as quickly as they were in so that this quickly they were out either disappeared or went silent six of pentacles this person was giving um, attention onto other people, unfortunately, boo boo. This is what I see. But it was like, you know, it's a, it could be a manipulator. They like to manipulate people with money and status as well. So, you know, however that goes, maybe they were like taking other people out, stuff like that. But it was a breadcrumbing energy. Could have been someone who wasn't 100% single and was like breadcrumbing you with their time and their attention because they had other mouths to feed. See, there's a lot of people all dependent on this person here. You see what I'm saying? Okay, boo boo. So let's see, you do have the Eight of Pentacles. I think this person feels like you really took ownership of your life though. They're like, oh, Libra is doing well. Libra is doing well without me. Let's pull a card, put another card on this because I do see this person slowly edging back into your life, but they're defensive and scared. Let's see, yeah, just, oh my God, see Libra, it happens every time in your readings. I love this, oh my God. I love the, the energy with Libra is so strong for me. Look, justice. This person's getting their justice. They're getting their karma for leaving you. They're in the Eight of Cups energy. This is the, you know, they're meeting their fate. And guess who they're thinking about when, when they're going up this little rocky little hill? You, Bibil. They're thinking about the Libra. What a douche food I've been. Why did I ruin this? If it was an established connection, this person is the same dynamic. This person broke your heart and abandoned you many times over, you know, in the relationship. Emotionally speaking, they let you down. And uh, over here, it's, you know, breadcrumbing and also giving on to other people. They could have had, like, something on the side. They could have had, like, and don't get triggered, boo-boo. Obviously, only if you have the receipts already. I'm a random uh, woman on the internet. There's an inflatable alien to, to, to the back of me. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't, you know, take 
take everything I say with a grain of salt, but there was attention elsewhere. And there was a lot of in and out energy. Someone who wasn't honoring uh, their household, the tradition of the household, the Hierophant. Someone who wasn't honoring the sanctity of this beautiful connection. They weren't honoring you. Currently, they're spying on you, like, majorly, majorly. They're like, <laughs> spy central. That's what they do is they look you up. They look what you're up to. They want to know what you're up to. They're like, oh my God, why am I always thinking of Libra? I wanted, um, I wanted to not honor Libra. I wanted to breadcrumb Libra. I was maybe giving my attention and also money. I see, I don't know why money's coming up. It doesn't always come up for me in the Six of Pentacles. But today it's like this person, instead of like putting money into the household, into you, they were like spending on floozies, you know, um, or douche flutes or whatever, you know, they were just spending on anyone in between. They were just douche flutesses. They were just spending, spending that money on the floozies, okay? Girl floozies, boy floozies, anyone in between, doesn't matter, like floozies. Don't be offended, Libra. I'm a floozy, so I got it. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Like, they're just spending that money instead of, like, giving it to you, uh, taking care of you. They were, like, putting that energy, that time into something else. Princess of Swords is, like, I mean, that person really is, like, spying on you big time. You cannot get away from that. Uh, Prince of Pentacles, the person is coming in with a message. But they're very defensive. See? He's scared. He's scared. He's not moving. He's not moving because he's scared. Uh, gender is arbitrary, by the way. So, you know, him, her, anyone between. This baby is scared to come in because they don't know what you're going to say. So they got their torch up. They're like, ah, oh, Libra, no. <laughs> oh, when will this nightmare end? Look, Libra, you're like, this person's like, <sighs> they try to read a book. They have, like, they envision you as the character. You know, they're trying to watch not flex. And, like, there you are, your face on every character. It's, like, it's sad. It's almost, I almost feel sorry for them, but I don't. Uh, so the douche flute is coming back. Now, let's see what the advice is here for you, Libra, in terms of what to do. In the next one hour, one day, one week, or one month, I feel like, um... The douche flute is coming in to like, but it might be like a weird message or something like a little bit non-committal. <sighs> wow, Libra, look, your advice is from the Scorpio for me, um, saying listen to the Scorpio death. Uh, I mean, is it, it's over, boo? It's over. Do you really want to resurrect this, like you know, this um, dead body? Like, I mean, is it over? Is it not over? You need to, you need to decide if it's over. I feel like you're in charge here because you came up in the reading of yourself, the Libra energy. So, you know, I mean, you decide if it's over. Is it over in your heart? Did, did this person leave you feeling cold? You know, what did they do? Is, is what they did forgivable, Bibu? Only you know the answer to that. But I would just say, you know, always value yourself first and foremost because you are a sparkly, golden, amazing treasure, you know, um, box of treasures, <laughs> box of tre trust the treasures, box of treasures. Oh my God. You are a, tr a trust full of pearls and diamonds and emeralds. I don't know. Like, you know, and this person is just like a little, uh, they got like sweaty peasant hands, you know, are they, are they even, do they even know how to handle you, Big Bill? That is the question, death. So is it, um, you're going to transform this thing? This is over regardless. So are you going to transform it or you're going to let it die, Big Bill? You let me know. Uh, let me know in the comments below, Libra, if this is your story, my darling. Also, if you vibe with my channel and you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe, turn on the notification button, and like the video, because liking the video really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, all the information is down below. Also, Libra, if you have any Scorpio in your chart, by the way, you know, in Venus or, or Sun and Rising, especially for these uh, readings, I would like to recommend a reader to you. It is Gondora Official. She is my sister, okay, from a another mister. Uh, she's like my spiritual sister. A Gondora official does Scorpio readings daily. So if you if you watch Scorpio, if you, if you have Scorpio placements in your chart, go uh, check out her channel. You probably already know and love her, but I just want to give her a shout out. Also, go tell her that she is gorgeous and sparkly. If you get a chance, tell her I sent you. Okay. I love you, my darling Libra. I'm going to miss you till tomorrow. Okay. Stay, stay nice. Stay cute. Stay gorgeous because you are the most business as gracious necessity and stay moisturized first and foremost and may the angels protect you baby.